transitions into stage one sleep. You are looking at a bipolar montage, FP1, F3, compare the potential difference between FP1 electrode and F3. On EEG, when you see an odd number in front of any of those alphabets, those odd numbers record electrical activity from the left side of the brain. Where you see even numbers, those are recording from the right side of the brain. And an EEG that ends with a CZ, those Z electrodes, those are recording from the midline. So here you're com recording from the left frontal, central, parietal, and occipital region. Then you're recording from the right frontal, central, parietal, and occipital region. And likewise, the left temporal occipital and right temporal occipital region. At the bottom of this EEG, we also have an ECG. ECG stands for electrocardiogram, which is a recording from the heart, not the brain. So this particular EEG shows, demonstrates stage one sleep. The defining feature of stage one sleep is drop in the alpha rhythm. So if you, these dark green lines are one second apart. If you count the number of waves between these dark lines at this specific channel, P301, you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So a frequency of nine hertz is within the alpha band. So you have an alpha frequency here. And parietal occipital electrodes are placed on the back of the head. So this is, these are posterior electrodes. So you see a posterior dominant alpha rhythm of nine hertz in the parietal occipital head region. So both on the left side, that's P301, and the right side, which is P402. Now you will notice that without any eye opening, without any eye blink artifact, you this person loses the alpha rhythm and you no longer see the alpha rhythm here so the defining feature of stage one sleep is a drop in the alpha in more than the 50 percent of the epoch so if we consider this whole page as one epoch half of this page does not have that alpha rhythm so that alpha rhythm has dropped away so this will qualify as a stage one sleep just some additional features. The fast frequencies that you see here, these are some very, very tiny waves and at a very fast frequency. When I say fast frequency, it means if you count all these individual waves, there are 13 or more waves in this one second. One second comprised is the distance between these two green lines. So this qualifies for beta frequency. So beta frequency is a frequency which starts from 13 hertz and goes higher. So if there are 13 or more waves in one second, you call it a beta frequency. If there are eight to 13 waves in one second, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is, then you call it alpha frequency. If there are four to seven waves in one second, you call it theta frequency. If there are less than four waves in one second, you call it delta frequency. So this is a normal EEG showing stage one sleep with a drop in alpha in the background.